In this video, we're going to take a look at the Quick Boot OS on my new HP Pavilion DM4. So let's get to it. So the full model number on this laptop is an HP Pavilion DM4-3055DX. And if you're interested in more videos on this laptop, you can click the link at the end of this video. Now you might notice that there are two power buttons on this laptop. One will launch Windows 7 Home Premium. The other one launches a quick booting OS that allows you to access the internet. So it's basically if you just want to get on and off really quick without having to boot into Windows. So I haven't set it up at this time. I really don't know what it looks like. So we're going to go through this together for the first time. So I'm going to click on this power button here and it should fire up. I think it's called Quick Web. Yeah, HP Quick Web as you can see there. And I won't put any edits in here just so you can see how fast it does load up. Alright, so we have a welcome screen here and it didn't take a long time but it wasn't instantaneous like you would expect out of a quick booting OS. But let's go through this. HP Quick Web is a safe alternate environment to Windows that is focused around quick access to your favorite activities. Quick Web allows you to power on your computer instantly, use your computer for a longer time, switch instantly to Windows, customize your home screen, and always stay connected. When you don't need the use of your full PC and just want to browse the internet or send an email, try Quick Web. So it says select your preferred language. Obviously I'm speaking English. Keyboard layout says USA. I'll keep that. Let's hit continue here. Okay, set up HP Quick Web password. You can set up a password here. I'm not going to. I'm just going to hit skip here. Your account will not be password protected if you do not enter a password. Do you want to continue? Of course. And here we go. All right, it says, hello, welcome to HP Quick Web. Quick Web is a fast way for you to access the internet. Type in a web address in the URL bar to get where you need to go fast. Customize your home screen by clicking on an empty widget box. It's that simple. All right, pretty interesting. And I'm going to click enjoy here. So this is what Quick Web looks like. Here is your URL bar. It says use this bar to browse the internet and search your favorite websites. You have a couple of selections over here, HP, MSN, Live, and eBay. And it looks like you can actually customize those favorites over there. Over here you have a weather widget, you have a stock widget, and you have a sticky note widget, a calculator. You can add widgets here, CNN News, and that's the time there. Now on the bottom, you have a power icon, so you can turn this off. It says click to sleep, shut down, or go to Windows. So if I click it, you have the option to sleep, shut down, or go to Windows. The next selection here looks like, okay, it's a home button, and I assume if you're in another app or whatnot, you can click on that and go home. You have a Skype icon down here, and then this one is an internet icon. Over here, you have a settings icon. You have an internet icon, which is disconnected right now. I'm not signed into my home wireless network. A battery icon shows that I have an hour and 36 minutes left. And a widget manager, help, and then of course the time. So why don't I sign into my home wireless network and then we can surf around on this. So the first thing I want to try out here is the URL bar. So let's look up YouTube. All right, there we go, there's YouTube. Let's bring up my web page here, or my channel on YouTube. And seems very snappy. Of course, it's on good hardware here, so I wouldn't expect anything less. 
And let's see, we have up here, we have an HP icon where you can actually go to hp.com. You have a back button, a forward button, looks like a favorites button, a start private browsing button, so it's sort of like an incognito mode. You have a stop loading this page button, you have a home icon, and of course you have your URL bar there, you have your search icon, you have your Bing search. Let's see if we can actually change that to something else. You have Bing, Yahoo, Ask, Google, eBay, Amazon, and Wikipedia, so you have some options there. The next selection here is Show Tabs, so you have multiple browsing here. Let's click on that and see if we have... Okay, there we go, Show Tabs, so you can add a new tab here. Let's go back to this one, and let's see if we can remove them, hide tabs, click it back, there we go. You have a settings icon, let's click on that real quick. And I like that transition when it brings up a window, sort of like an accordion. You have your history settings, your general settings, your advanced settings, you can set your home page here, you can set what a new tab is, you have security options, interesting. And let's see, we have a print icon over here. And, of course, a minimize, which we'll try in a second, and then you can X out of it here. Let me just click on the printer icon here and see if it actually can recognize my network printer. So, let's see. Okay, as I delve deeper in here, it says, if I want to print something, it says mozilla.pdf. So, this browser is obviously based on Firefox. So, I really don't know how you would print off of here. Maybe it's in the settings or something like that. Or maybe you have to have an HP printer. But it doesn't look like it's picking up my network printer. Let's get out of that and let's minimize this and see what happens. So you minimize it and it goes away. Now down here you have a dock like you would on Windows. So if I click this again it should bring up what I had there. And Let's minimize it again. Let's go over here to these favorites over here. So let's see what we have here. Favorites Manager. A total of four favorites are allowed to be pinned to the home page. To pin a favorite to the home page, click on the box next to it. So you can unpin these and I don't know how you would add more. Let's see. Okay, they probably come from your browser. So if I would favorite YouTube, so let's get out of here. So if I would favorite YouTube on my browser up here, mark it as a favorite, minimize that, and then let's see if this works. Yeah, right there. So I can add this and pull, let's say, MSN off of there, and apply it, and there we go. So I have a new favorite on there. So that's pretty cool, actually even though you're only limited to four. The weather app here, or widget, doesn't look like you can interact with it, but it does give you a five-day forecast and the current weather. Stocks, it looks like you can actually, uh, well actually there's a tool icon, let's click on the weather here. So okay, if you want to customize the widget, you have this little wrench up here, but um, it doesn't look like you can actually interact with it. You can customize them, but it doesn't look like you can interact with them. You can interact with the sticky notes, obviously. You would want to add notes to it. So let's see. And there we go. Sticky note. I like this calculator. I'm the type of person that likes to have a calculator on whatever operating system I'm using, so I'll definitely have a shortcut to a calculator because I do a lot of work with numbers at times. So that's nice to have that on here as a widget. Then you have your clock widget and then your news widget and let's see what we can add here. You have available widgets, MSNBC, BBC, Twitter, Market Watch. Drag available widgets to your home page. So it looks like it's very limited on what your widgets are. So if I wanted Twitter, grab it here and drop it here. Okay, Twitter requires two vertical blocks. Let's get rid of the sticky notes and move Twitter over there. 
There we go. So the widgets are very limited, unfortunately, but again, this is just a quick booting OS. It's not something you want to live in necessarily, it's just something that you want to use to check a couple of things. Let me go down here to the settings icon down here, and you have personal settings, which includes languages, files, password management, security, and startup, you have system settings, date and time, system, reset, power, and proxy. And then you have hardware settings, external monitor. So you can actually use this with an external monitor if you hook it up to a secondary monitor. Printers, network, keyboard, and mouse. Let me just click on printers here because that is what I was interested in earlier. And let's see, I do want to add a printer. And, okay, it looks like it's going to be able to pick it up. Network printer. Okay, maybe it can't. It doesn't look like it's uh, recognizing my printer. So that's HP Quick Web. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And as always, if you want to help out my channel, give me a thumbs up or favorite this video. Now as I sign off here, let's see if we can actually boot this straight into Windows. So instead of sleeping, shutting down, we're going to go straight to Windows. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.